Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics for this April 8th, 2015. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is where this lives. Hey, I've been writing things over there too. Uh, if you notice, the uh, uh, Sorgatron Media Creators newsletter has been uh, rolling for the last few weeks, and uh, we've been having fun with that, and I've been putting my posts, I, I've been making myself write a little bit uh, every week with this uh, for the newsletter and for the people signed up for that. And we had a good discussion about Clamor and using short form and, and our experience with it so far, and I, I hope to follow up here on the show as well uh, about what we're doing with that. Um, so please go check, check out Sorgatron.com. Check out the past uh, editions of the newsletter, even the ones from like two years ago. They still kind of apply to some stuff about Hangouts and everything and uh, helpful stuff there. So please sign up for that and find out everything we're doing that's not involving wrestling at Sorgatron Media. So with that, uh, we, I wanted to, I had a kind of a revelation when this happened. Uh, this happens to me a lot. I hear old Mr. Leo Laporte has the same issue with uh, Google Hangouts. But uh, depending on how you do this, um, we're in a day and age where if you're um, um, very surrounded by technology, I'm very, I have at least six screens in front of me as we speak, for instance, Um for mostly for the main podcast day, not what we do here, me individually. But, um, you know, how many of you have had this? So, for instance, I do have iDevices. I got an iPhone, you know, it's still my 5S. I got an iPad, you know. Uh, uh, I have a MacBook Pro. I got a Mac Mini up in the office. And every time I get a phone call, all of the devices ring. Um, it's, <laughs> it's the extent where... It started harking me back to, to, to good old days here. Um, if you're a Google person, and um, uh, you may have had this, maybe you just this just happens when you get a Google Hangout invite call situation when you're uh, hopping in with your friends Skype style. Or maybe you're set up with Google Voice, and uh, you, again, ring on every computer that has that Google Hangout uh, installed, right? Um, that plug-in. So now we have this effect. Because back in the day, you know, you were lucky enough and big wheeling and you had multiple phones. You had a phone in every house attached to a cord. Sometimes mine was still rotary. Um, in fact, we still have a rotary phone here in the in the, in the the studio. Just it came with the house and it's quaint and I hide it by my green screen. Um, anyways, y y you have that effect where you had the phone in every house. We didn't have wireless at the time. and uh, Or at least you wanted those phones even still. So you were near one when it rang in your palatial estate i guess um you know here in this house this is a including basement this is a three-story house and if the phone rang you wanted to be near it now of course this is in my pocket right and you think ah you know i don't really need it need that to to, to be everywhere because it's always where i am for the most part or you're like my wife and she leaves it in the living room and i'm trying to call her desperately on the way home from work to find out if i need to get anything while she's uh cooking and rocking out in the kitchen um but now we have this effect where when my phone rings, uh, the iPad, the Macs, both Macs are ringing all over the house. And we get this surrounded thing. Unfortunately for me, a lot of times uh, it's ringing and at least three of the devices are directly in front of me. But I get the message. Uh, you know, this, um, you know, uh, from... <sighs> You know, there's not really much more to it than than kind of like we've kind of repeated the process, right? Um, if somebody calls, you get a notification through the entire house, um, and and we're back to that. Again, this isn't for everybody. Maybe you don't have things set up. Maybe you got a iPhone and you don't have a, a Mac, and so you don't have that handoff happening. Or maybe you're not don't completely have everything tied through on your Google Hangout. But I think more and more as the as the the techies that are ahead and on, on this uh, are seeing this, this means that in three years everybody's going to have this because I, I i think you'll have a point where it breaks down and it's not just your macs are going to be doing that as well or your everybody's going to be tied through google hangout or some other service you know um that's related to maybe you'll be bundling your cell phone more with a comcast cable and now that will ring on your tv um but it's it's kind of re-established that re-established what the phone line does and we just have that establish that feel with our multiple devices that aren't necessarily phones. Hey, I could pick up my iPad and answer the call. I could hit a button on my computer and answer the call. Um, I could pick up it on, on and sound really good because I'm in a podcast studio and have that set up um, with a pop filter. Who has a pop filter on their phone when they're talking to grandma, for instance, right? Um, but that's kind of like technology coming back around. And uh, it, it, makes it, it makes it really interesting. Um, also, uh, kind of with that, do you guys realize video calls happened? 
Anybody, did anybody else miss this? You know, uh, we had Demolition Man um, and all these all these movies. Total Recall. It was going to be video phones. We were going to pick up our phone and, and see a face. And I think that has happened and not the way you expected. We have FaceTime. We have we don't think about it because there's these these kind of lines that have been drawn like, well, I can do that, obviously, with other iPhone people. Right. I can do that, obviously, with other people on Google Hangout. But still, it's there. And I think there's that standards thing that's going to happen. But as you go again with this whole idea of the handoff and things ringing everywhere, I think that uh, you're going to see those barriers break down and everybody will be able to Skype call Google Hangout FaceTime and the video thing will happen. I mean, how much, uh, you know, how, how much has that already happened? How much are grandmas FaceTiming to see their grandkids, you know, from across the country? I, I think it's tremendous. And that has happened. And, and, and it's, it's prevalent. And I think it happens so covertly, you know, kind of I've talked about on here. I love that we live in the future and we really do. You know, the video call thing is for real. The fact that I can just pull up my iPad here, hit a button, and I got uh, two of my friends uh, watching me do this for some reason. Um, I know they're bored at work, you know. But, uh, you know, it's tremendous. I mean, it, it, the video is so persistent. And, and we've talked about this with the Meerkat and the Periscope explosions. But that's just an extension. You know, that's just an easy way to do this. This is like fa FaceTiming with the world at this point and not so much of the setup you need to do with Google Hangout. Google Hangout's about to get eclipsed, I think, uh, with the ease of use. Um, and they better get that figured out very soon because I've been promoting it to the moon, but I'm starting to promote this maybe instead. You know, um, because I mean, the, OK, that's I was doing a side on podcasting here. Um, now you can do this on the fly, get responses, record something. Maybe you have a good microphone kind of set up for your iPhone that you're walking around with. I have a lapel mic that works with my iPhone, for instance. Right. I can put that on, talk about things, have video up. Hold that in front of me. Right. And now I got a video. OK, maybe I won't use the video because it's vertical. Unless I want to do that kind of show and do some fun stuff and edit on the side, you know, that would actually be kind of cool to do. You just make a nice graphic, maybe there's some stats, you do like a pop-up video thing. Your video is just kind of in the corner because you're stuck in vertical aspect ratio anyways. And uh, and that could become a whole show in itself. Somebody steal that idea. Let me know how it works out. Um, or toss it over my way so I can play with it. Uh, I'm going, damn, damn, I'm going to have a concept by the end of the day. I just know it now. Um, more things to do. Uh, but... Where was I getting at? Uh, but no, this is this makes it easier for you to broadcast, for you to do this. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, the comments in the chat room about the the, the grind and the, my my ideas. Um, but uh, anyways, and yeah, even this, even, even pull it up and hear people are are. are doing this without me having to do the whole YouTube live and making sure the settings right in my wire cast. So, so that all happens, you know, I'm not going to do that because I don't expect the big crowd to show up at 8 30 AM on a, on a, on a Wednesday. What day is this Wednesday podcast hangers hangover? Sorry guys. Um, but anyways, um, but, but you know, the tools are there even more so, and they're becoming a little more relatable. So on that note, Hey, let me know what you think about uh, the, 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 the phone ringing everywhere in your house, or maybe it isn't yet, or maybe you know friends that do. Maybe you're annoyed because you don't have that one device anymore. We got away from it, right? You, you, you're a cord cutter on the phone, and now it's still everywhere again. Um, that accessibility, video phones, so much more. Uh, YouTube comments on this video, or if you listen to the audio version, I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. You can uh, comment on that blog as well. Have that bigger conversation. And thank you, everybody. Speaking of which, joining us on the Meerkat. Shout outs to at DJ Lunchbox and at Nero on the uh, Twitters um, and uh, podcast extraordinaires themselves. Uh, so, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.